Okay, so living standards. These are really, really, this is a very, very important concept of 3-4 economics. So living standards is about how happy the people living in a certain economy are. So there's two types of living standards. So there's material, which as the name suggests, these living standards are material, meaning that there's something that you can measure. So it's like access to goods and services. Um, and they can be measured using stats such as like um, GDP per capita, so on like that. But the way that you define material living standards is the ability of households or individuals to access goods and services. Then we've got non-materials living standards. So non-material living standards are kind of hard to measure. They're very intangible. And they're more so about stuff like happiness, self-fulfillment, um, social satisfaction and stuff like that. So it's really hard to get an, get an indication of those just because they're so subjective and it's, it's just hard to measure in the first place. So an example of non-material living standards can be just um, safety, uh, happiness, um, purpose, having that sense of purpose and so on. So when we allocate resources in a market, we want to maximize living standards. So we talked about utility and everything earlier, but really the ultimate goal is to maximize living standards. Because if we can maximize utility and our satisfaction, then we can make sure that we're happy. Okay. Um, actually, I'll just highlight on that a little bit more before I jump into macroeconomics. So one more thing. Um, so that's pretty much the purpose of a free market and that's pretty much the purpose of government intervention as well. We want to make sure that we can maximize utility um, and minimize any social costs that come with production or consumption of goods and services.